Hey Virgo, thank you so much for um, stopping by your love reading February uh, 1st through the 14th. This is for couples and singles. We're gonna go over the overall energy for these for this next two weeks, um, the situation, why it's cause, hopes and dreams, and then an outcome, okay? So if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you wanna receive alerts when I post. If you wanna book a personal reading, the link will be down below. Um, it's a link to my website. So with that being said, um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or for cross watchers, let's go ahead and uh, get into your reading. So Virgo, Virgo couples, first through the 14th of February. What's the overall energy for Virgo couples? Okay, making the effort. So I think that um, Leo got that too. So maybe you're dealing with a Leo. What's the situation for Virgo couples? What's going on with couples? Whoa. Okay. What's causing this situation? Whoa. You guys, these cards are flying out. What are what is Virgo's hopes and fears? What's the outcome for Virgo? Beautiful. <clears throat> you guys could be dealing with a Taurus or um, another earth sign. You guys um, also have the Seven of Cups here. So that could be, I think it's Cancer maybe. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this. I think this is beautiful, by the way. Okay. Why is this the situation? Pentacles, okay. Actually, let me re-ask that question. I was thinking of two things in my head at one time. Again, you guys have the Page of Pentacles again. Okay, so um, off to the side here, I do have a couple cards that were on the top and the bottom. So you guys have the Emperor and the King of Cups, okay? Um, you guys also have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Just wanna have to throw that out there. So making the effort, I feel like right now it's, a time where you have to figure out, you know, whether or not something's worth it. And I think for you guys, it is worth it. Now, like I said, I think in the Leo reading, if you guys apply yourself and you guys allow yourself to be happy, that does come rather quick, right? This person is going to reciprocate what you're giving to them. That's definitely here. Now, the situation at hand is an Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like something was given to you um, and I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for and it's something that you've been wanting for a very, very, very long time. And now you finally have it, right? And it's making you feel really good. Or this could be you waiting for a proposal. This could be, you know, you waiting for a gift. Um, but I asked how you'd feel about it and it's the Nine of Cups. So again, it's like a wish being fulfilled. So, but with the page of pentacles, it's almost like, sometimes I look at pentacles as a little bit slower moving. Um, you know, pentacles take, you know, how it goes is pentacles represent years, right? And it's like a progression. Um, could be you guys have been in a relationship for three years, right? Or, you know, um, maybe it's your first year. It has something to do with, you know, you and your partner have been steady for a while, right? You guys are in a good place. Like I said, it could be an Aries, right? Because we have um, the Emperor here or the King of Cups. So maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, Cancer, or Pisces. 
I also think though that interesting enough, this person's energy is very good, right? Um, they're very independent. And I think you like that because you're independent and it's like they give you your space while still keeping that image of everything being kind of still put together. Um, I do feel like this person is, you know, very in your face with what they want and what they expect from you. And I feel like you can sense that, that, that desire. And I feel like because this person is very fair, right? It's like what's right, they do what's right. And they're, they're very balanced and they're very good for you in that sense because what you give, they give. All right? Now you guys could also be putting, you know, an offer in on a house and you're waiting for it to come back. Or maybe it did come back and it's making you happy. Mm. What's causing the situation? You guys have the seven of uh, cups with temperance. So it, it's, it's, it's options, right? It's like, okay, do we do this or do we do that? But it's also about, you know, keeping, again, this is where the emperor comes in, I feel like, because here he is. Let me just stick him out here so you guys, uh, so you guys know he's here. So here he is. But it's also about kind of understanding that the emperor, I feel like, he waits to make a decision. So for a period of time, I feel like he kind of rides this middle road, right? He rides this sense of, I'm not making a choice until I'm 100% positive. So that could be what's stalling, you know, whatever you're wanting this person to give you, but it is coming, right? Because she, she is having her wish um, granted or fulfilled. Now, your hopes and dreams, again, is building with this person, right? Um, and then here's the page of pentacles again. So it's like you want this offer or you're worried that this offer just isn't going to work or that what's being given, you know, may not come, right? And it could be, again, you know, um, offering of a marriage or proposing or a child. It's like you're waiting patiently for this person to give you that. And I feel like you you know that you guys work together well, and this is the next step. That next step that's ultimately gonna bring you to this um, 10 of Pentacles, okay? So, with that being said, you guys have the Hierophant talking about marriage. I mean, could this, this could mean either this person does the right thing, this could be marriage, this could be a lot of things, right? Um, if you guys wanna know the outcome, um, go ahead and click on the Vimeo link below. We're going to go over how does your partner feel about you, what are their hopes, what are their fears, um, what do they want from you, their next actions, your advice, and um, ultimately uh, the outcome, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and um, get into Virgo's, uh, Virgo singles reading, okay? Get all my cards together. All right, push her off to the side. So Virgo singles, February 1st through the 14th. What's going on with Virgo singles? What's the overall energy for Virgo singles? Okay, romantic feelings. You know, I'm here for this, yes. Let's see if you guys can see that, okay. What is the situation? What's going on with the situation? Situation for Virgo singles. Okay, clearly somebody's making offers to you. Why is this being caught? Why, why? You're like, it's about goddamn time. All right, what is Virgo singles hopes or fears? Regards to the situation. What's the outcome for Virgo singles? Wow, okay, beautiful. Let me go ahead and clarify these. You guys could definitely be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, 
You do have the Wheel of Fortune here, Page of Wands, Sag, Leo, or Aries, okay. Wow, okay. Whoa, that's a lot of cards that came out for why. Let me put these back. And I'm gonna ask again, sorry. I just don't like a lot of cards. Okay, oops. Page of Wands, Page of Wands twice. So similar Virgo to um, the couples reading, you guys have the Page of Wands and then the Page of Wands, okay? singles so first of all I feel like you guys have been in a place where you've been very much in your head about you know somebody you really care about okay romantic feelings that's the overall energy sometimes I think please don't take this the wrong way um Sometimes I think that when things become a little bit too hot and heavy quick, it kind of makes you back up a little bit, right? It kind of, it not necessarily scares you off, but it's like, whoa, I need things to slow down a little bit. I do feel like this person, you know, made you an offer. And how did the offer make you feel? It made you feel good. It made you feel like a kid again. It made you feel like it's a new start. It's something's beginning that, you know, makes you extremely happy because I do feel like you were in a place where somebody did some fuck shit, somebody did something wrong, and what caused it, it's like they were playing games. And, you know, you were really upset and you were kind of in a dark place, possibly, right? And now you're coming out of it where you have this whole new energy about you, right? It's a whole new sense of you. Um, what's causing the situation? Again, it's the Wheel of Fortune. You know, this is like things are changing for you guys. Luck, luck is on your side. Things are looking up. Um, what you once felt is then coming back around. This could possibly be somebody from your past or it could be somebody completely new. Maybe it was somebody that you knew in high school or, you know, a long ass time ago and now you, you see each other again, right? But it's this person's actions that are making you feel like it's this new start. And it's the fact that they're expressing themselves as well as they are to you. They're coming at you with action, right? And it's very pure and it's very honest. And I think that that's needed. Now, um, what your hopes and fears are is, you know, because of this page of wands, right? You're, you're worried like, is this the right thing? Or is this something that I'm being a fool over where I'm getting excited for no reason? Like, is this something that's going to grow, right? Or is this something that's very quick that's going to burn out, right? I also feel like you're worried about things moving too fast. Um, you guys could also be dealing with uh, a Taurus. I, I do feel that strongly, especially with that, you know. Um... And honestly, like, Taurus represents, you know, their planet is like Venus. So it's all about love and relationship and art and beauty. But it's also about, you know, growing, being stable. It's not necessarily like just in her, in their head, right? It's, it's physically. So it's, it, it's this growth, right? And this is something that you want. You want it to grow, but you don't know how fast it's going to grow or if it grows at your pace, okay? So, seven of uh, pentacles here. Is this a fruitless, uh, you know, harvest, right? Is this actually going to produce or is it not? I mean, I think that that's something that we're going to find out in Vimeo. 
So with that being said, thank you so much, uh, Virgo. And um, those of you guys that are following me over to Vimeo, let's go. And for those of you guys that aren't, thank you so much for stopping by my reading. And um, I will see you guys in a couple weeks. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.